Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Okay, the fifth commandment, you shall not murder. It's not just an outward commandment. Jesus says that anyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. John says everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. Anger is actually a sin, according to the fifth commandment. We should fear and love God, that we do not hurt or harm our neighbor in his body, but help and protect him in every physical need. But that, that whole thou shalt not murder thing, it doesn't start with the hands. It actually starts with the heart. I mean, ask yourself, what if every secret evil wish that you have ever had for anybody that you were mad at, anybody that have, has ever hurt you, what if, well, what if it came true? That'd be a lot of damage done. There'd be a lot of pain caused. And remember, these are neighbors that God loves. Luther writes, God wishes to remove the root and source by which the heart is embittered against our neighbor and to accustom us ever to keep in view this commandment, always to contemplate ourselves in it as a mirror, to regard the will of God, and with a hearty confidence and invocation of his name to commit to him the wrong which we suffer. Thus we shall suffer our enemies to rage and be angry, doing what they can, and we learn to calm our wrath and to have a patient, gentle heart, especially toward those who give us cause to be angry, that is, our enemies. In the large catechism, Luther sees what Christ sees. Sin breaks stuff. When people sin against you, it hurts so much that, yeah, anger just sort of pops up. There's not really a question of whether or not you can control it, but it's still bad. And so our Lord takes flesh to bear that anger, that wrath, that pain, that sin, all of it upon a cross for you and for your neighbor. And so when we get mad, we can actually say, I can't forgive and forget because, well, it hurts too bad, but I don't have to forget. I can actually look to the cross where Jesus died not just for me, but for my neighbor. Jesus died for my neighbor, even the neighbor that I am mad at. This is where wrath gets appeased. I can actually see every sin that I need to see punished, punished at a crucifix. I can see Jesus dead for the sins that were committed against me, and there I can find peace, not just for me, but for my neighbor. This is what God has given us in, in the cross. It is a chance to deal with our neighbor in love because we can actually see their sins atoned for too. You shall not be angry at your neighbor. Honestly, be angry at Jesus. He says he's the one who sinned. That's why he died on the cross. But there, there you can actually start to look at your neighbor in peace. More than anything, when you're mad, when you know you're supposed to forgive but you just can't forget, realize that you don't have to forget. You can look to the cross and remember, this is the place Jesus died for your neighbor. This is why you don't need to be angry anymore. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran.